Hi friends, how are you doing? This is Deborah and welcome to Deborah's Journey. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna to be covering my July budget overview, sharing what I did in terms of my goals, did I accomplish them, and also my money goals. I hope that you like my content and if you're new here, you consider joining me by hitting that subscribe button and following me on my journey. Well, July was a a calm month, I think, because it wasn't crazy. It wasn't a lot of spending happening. And I think I did pretty good. And when I went over, it was going to be because it was something I was excited about, which if you haven't watched my student loan update, at least the last one, you'll see that I made a very nice payment and I am finally under $10,000 on my student loan debt. So I'm still very happy and excited about that. All right, let's get into the July goals. So my first goal was to cut eating out that budget by 10%. And I'll tell you now, that was a fail. I still went over budget. It's very difficult based on my schedule. Now, I know that's an excuse. I could do more meal prepping, um, but sometimes even the weekends, I don't have time to meal prep because I have a lot of things I have to take care of. I will work on this goal. I am going to make that a mission. So this month was a fail. Um, my goal number two is to increase my personal investing by 10%. And I'm happy to report I did that. I actually increased it by 20%. So that is a very positive win for me. Goal number three was to locate additional funds for my student loan payment. And I did that. I was able to add more to my savings challenges. So I had a lot more money saved for that. I was doing a keep the change challenge for the month of June, which spilled over to the month of July. And so extra cash from my personal money and my change and then additional money for my buffer. I added all of that to make a very nice, healthy payment for the month of July. So that was a win. Decluttering winter clothing. I have started doing this. I'm now at the phase of clothes that I still want, but I probably don't need anymore because um, I just really don't wear them. And so when you get to that place where you are at the maybe phase, you still want to hold on to it, you don't need it, that's where it gets a little tricky. So I'm right there. The stuff that I know I didn't need anymore, I've already gotten rid of those items, but I'm still working on this goal. Okay, goal number five was to lose pound, five pounds. And I started off doing pretty well. I was definitely eating a lot better this month. And when I was going to weigh myself to keep track my scale battery died. So of course I can't even weigh myself at home. So I am going to say this was a fail because I was not tracking this. Even though I feel like I did lose the five pounds, I'm just going to say it was a no and I need to get my scale battery replaced. And then goal number six was to continue reading the Old Testament. And that was a great yes, because I am still reading Old Testament stories. Uh, this past month, I've been focusing on Exodus, reading about Moses and letting his people go through God and all the miraculous things that he did for them. So for the month of July, I did budget $96.60 or $9,660 for the month. Okay, let's go to our fixed expenses. So for housing and utilities, I budgeted $19.50. I was over by $0.22. Cent. And when it comes to fixed expenses, it's probably going to be maybe a dollar, two dollars or less of what I actually budgeted. So it shouldn't be too much more. Okay, ties and offerings. That's a, a line item here that I do show. I pay those items. I don't share the amounts on my um, actual budget sheet. Car insurance, I budgeted 135. It was 135.40, so it was over by 40 cents. Spectrum internet, um, I had a 99 cent increase, so it was 77.99. So I think I need to just change that to 78 dollars. Life insurance 65, 
and that was actually $67.96. Direct TV streaming, um, that was $79.99. Xbox subscription, $7.99. Sirius XM Radio is $8.50. Apple Storage is $9.99. Apple Care is $11.50. Google memberships, $12. Um, my son's cell phone, $65. And then my cell phones, $144.28, so 28 cent more. So for my fixed expenses, I budgeted $2,565.98, and it was actually $2,570.82. So a $4.84 difference. Okay, let's move on to our variable expenses. So for groceries, I budgeted $600. I actually spent $763.33. So I was over by $163.33. Um, towards the end of the month, I did go to Sam's Club and I used some of the money for my savings challenge that I used for Sam's Club. And I also um, used some of my personal money to pay for the difference in my groceries. So it was definitely more than I had expected. Uh, the groceries I got at the end of July did carry over into August, I think I may be able to um, have less in my expenses for August, but we will see. Again, groceries are just one of those items. Um, the prices keep going up for everything and it's very hard to stay on budget. Okay, so for personal, I budgeted 125. I actually put 140 um, or gave myself $140. That was a $15 difference. For gasoline, I budgeted $4.75. I actually spent $4.28.80. So I was under my $46.20. I am so happy for a win in something. And I'm glad that I was able to actually be under by quite a bit. $46 is almost a tank of gas. Uh, so that just means I wasn't driving as much as I normally do. So yes to that amount. Miscellaneous expenses, I budgeted $25 and I spent $29, so it was over by four. Car wash, $40. Yard maintenance, $50 was budgeted and I actually spent $70. I did have him do a couple of extra things, so I paid an additional $20 for that. I purchased a breakfast ticket for an event. That was $35, fast track. Uh, freeway service at budgeted 30. However, they didn't take any money um, off of my credit card for this. So I guess I have enough credit now. So I didn't have to worry about that one for the month of July. Home maintenance, I budgeted 250. I did not do any home maintenance projects this month. So again, that was zero. July gift away, uh, giveaway, I budgeted 125. And um, you know what? I forgot I did spend $50. So this is going to be off by $50 because we had a giveaway, a back to school giveaway. And so I forgot to include that in here. So 125 is showing that I spent nothing, but that will be carried over to August and I'll make the adjustment in August. Personal care is a new category, something I should have already been budgeting, but I didn't budget it. However, I spent $113.21, mainly for personal care items and for hair care. So anything to do with my hair, my nails, skin care, um, I am going to keep that under personal care. So that was $113.21. Eating out, my budget was $200 and I was over by $18.93. Now I think that's pretty good. And I actually, even though I didn't reduce my eating out budget, I kind of did because I have spent less money eating out this month than I have in a while. So let's go over and let me share what I spent in eating out. Okay, so for eating out, we went to Cane's. That was $31.31. Copper Links. I bought some salads there. I, I do like their chicken salad. It's very good. And that was $29.69. Habit Burger, it was $23.25. 
Miguel Jr., 3327. Keynes was 3131. I went there again. Chipotle, $30.45. Panda Express, $12.18. Fish Grill, and that was for a dinner um, on a weekend, and that was $27.47. That was all the eating out I did in the month. So I really feel like I did do pretty well considering normally I have a very long list of items on my um, eating out budget, but that was what I spent, $218.93. Now the items in blue, those are mainly from my um, unbudgeted items. I did have to get something on Amazon for my dog and it was some cream to help with his allergies. So that was $29.30. I went to Staples to get a camera for my computer because my camera stopped working. And then when I hooked it up, it started back working. I unhooked the camera. Can you tell me why my camera's working now <laughs> without this camera that I just bought? I don't know, but it's working now. I'm going to keep the camera because you never know. But that was $72.38. I did also buy... Um, a charger for my tablet and phone. So that was another item I got from Staples. And then I had to take my dog to the vet uh, to get medication. Um, he, he had to take some antibiotics and he also got a couple of shots and he, um, I had to get him that um, flea medication. I think the one they chew, it's a chewable and that's $70, just that by itself. So the bill was $365.90. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, um, but that's what I spent. So my total in my buffer, my eating out was $686.51. All right, so my unbudgeted, I budgeted $200, but I ended up spending $467.58. Again, mainly because of the vet visit, that was uh, a little hefty. So my total on variable expenses, I budgeted $2,155. I spent $2,305.85. So I was over by $150.85. All right, moving on to debt. So my Discover credit card, I budgeted 200. That's what I paid. Sam's Club, I budgeted three. I paid 400 on that. So I was over by $100. My Wells Fargo credit card, I budgeted 100. That's what I paid. My car payment, I budgeted 550. I paid 550. And my student loan, I budgeted $1,500, but I actually paid $2,281.37. So my um, difference was $781.37. I'm very happy and proud of what I was able to pay towards my student loan. I think that was my largest debt payment. For, for the whole, probably my largest um, student loan debt payment all year, uh, because I normally um, have made hefty payments, but this one was a, a big one because I really wanted to get under 10000 And then for my personal loan, I budgeted $302.30. That's what I paid. So total debt, I budgeted $2,952.30. And I actually spent $3,833.67. So my total debt amount was over by $881.37. Almost 900 more towards debt. That is wonderful. I'm very happy with that number. Okay, so let's get to investments. Vanguard, I budgeted 55. I actually spent 50. Uh, SoFi, budgeted 30. I Put 25 towards that account. That was $5 under for both. Uh, Fidelity, 125 is what I budgeted, but I actually uh, put 100 towards that account. So it was under by 25. M1 Finance, I didn't budget anything, but I sent 25 to M1 Finance. And then my Roth IRA, I budgeted 300, and that's what I put. So the increase in my investing came from my Roth. I did increase this account by $100. Um, last month, I didn't do a budget overview, but that's when I increased my Roth. So technically, this is what brought my investment account up to a 20% plus more increase. So my total investments, I budgeted 510. 
and I actually put 500 towards my investments. All right, my savings funds, I my savings account, I budgeted 225. I put $200 towards my emergency fund, my general savings, uh, those accounts. So I was under my $25. And then for my 100 envelope challenge, I budgeted 125, and that's what I saved. So 100 and and so that was not 106. That that amount is wrong. I just noticed it. All right. So total savings, I budgeted $350 and $325 is what um, I actually put towards my savings accounts. And that amount is correct. And that is a $25 difference. So I don't know what happened to that line item. I have to correct that. Okay, and then finally, my sinking funds. I budgeted $400 for my savings challenges, and I actually saved $425. So that's a $25 increase. My Lifesaver funds budgeted $750, and I actually put $854.05 towards my savings. So a $104.05 increase was done. So my total sinking funds, Lifesaver funds, was I budgeted $1,150 and I put $1,279.05 towards those savings accounts. That's a $129.05 difference. I budgeted $9,683.28 and I actually spent for the month $10,814.39. So that was a $1,131.11 increase. So July was a really nice month, not a lot happening. I was able to really focus on my student loans debt and pay a huge chunk of money towards that. That's where the majority of my extra money went and I'm not mad about it. Thank you all so much for joining me on my July overview. How did your overview go? Did you? budget in July and did you do okay? I know sometimes it's hard to save money, but using a budget, you can at least see where your money's going and what you can do and if you need to make adjustments along the way. I will see you again in my next update for the month of August. Take care and have a beautiful day. Bye.